Hey everybody, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a DIY dollar store succulent garden. My lovely aunt got me these succulents for Christmas. Well, I should say she got them for my family. And I wanted to do a little something special with them. So as you can see, those were just some air plants that I found in the park, as well as some stones and crystals that I either found in the park or laying around my house. And then you can get different kinds of dishes at the dollar store. So I got that circular one. I got some potting mix just in case I need some extra soil. And then I got this really cute little heart um, container and then some just green moss as decoration. So it was nice because all of that was only a dollar and the air plants were obviously free. They came from outside at the park and I don't know if wherever you live has air plants, but basically they're just these little plant guys that are just laying all over the ground and they, I guess, hence the air plant part, they don't need any water. They just kind of exist with the air. So I thought those would be cool to add to my little succulent garden. So basically I just put some nice potting soil there and on the directions, it says to add water and mix together. So for the next step, I just gently squeeze the sides of the succulent container in order to remove it. I'm being very gentle because I don't want to break off any of the petals or the leaves or whatever they're called. <laughs> and um, I just go ahead and I kind of try to mix its soil with the soil in the container already. As you can see, there's very little roots. So just be super gentle when you're putting it in there. And also say you don't want a real plant. If you wanted to do this, you can just get a fake succulent if you don't think that you'll be able to take care of it. But hopefully it should be nice and easy for you as like a first plant if you've never done this before so then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process for the other container I just knew that I had four of them and they were they weren't all gonna fit in one container so that's why I got the heart shaped one and then I got this big circular one that I knew was gonna fit more and that one is more so like a little terrarium so I've never done this before, but I just had the thought come into my mind of like how cute would it be if I just made like a little garden with some stones and some moss. And I have to say while I was making this, it was very relaxing. It was just like a fun little craft for me to do just to relax. It was very low stress. And as you can see, I put just like a little um, tablecloth below me so that any dirt that came off I could just pick up the tablecloth and then you know get the dirt off of it outside I wouldn't recommend doing this <laughs> on you know like carpet or anything like that because the dirt is, it might get a little bit messy so just make sure that you put some, something down in order to catch the dirt so as you can see I just make a little hole for the plant to go loosen it up from the packaging and then stick it right in Also, if you go out and you buy the succulents, you might not have to get an additional bag of soil depending on how big or small your dish is. I actually had a lot of soil left over, um, but it's fine because I'll just use it for another project, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. So the next step is I'm just going to take this air plant and I'm not really putting it in the soil per se i'm kind of just covering it up with the soil in a few spots so that it actually stays in my little garden and i thought it was so cool just adding that element to it it's very different and the second air plant i was like where 
where should this one go? So I kind of just played around with it until I found, you know, a good spot for the placement of my little decorations in my garden. And there's no right or wrong to this, you guys. Just do whatever you feel looks nice to you. This is just supposed to be something a little bit fun for you to do. And then as you can see, I'm just putting the excess soil back in the bag because I had so much left over. So next up, this is just some fake moss from the dollar store and I started pulling it apart a little bit with my fingers just to break it up. And then I kind of stuck it into the soil. So um, I'm not pressing it super deep into the soil. I just wanted to be able to stick and not fall out. Just go ahead and repeat this process all the way around. You can leave some soil um, open. I just wanted to put the moss all over because I really like the green. I thought it looked really cool. So like I said, you do you. You do whatever you want to do. So after I put in all the moss, I'm going to go ahead and take my little stones that I have. Um, that one my friend gave to me and this other one my, my friend also gave me that from Tennessee and then that third stone, Devin found that one in the park when we were walking around and that was when I found the air plants too so I just put that one in my pocket and took it. And then those are some crystals that my friend Alex gave me and I just thought they would look so pretty just all together and this is the final product so this idea just kind of came from my imagination and I don't know about you guys but I love the dollar store they have so much cool stuff in there and I was just feeling crafty so I just went and picked up a couple really simple items to put this together it is now sitting on the counter in my kitchen and everybody has loved it so far and i've really i've i've seen succulent gardens but i've never really seen anything quite like this um so it was just it was just so much fun to make and very relaxing so i hope this inspires you guys to make your own little succulent gardens if you have any questions just go ahead and comment down below and here's a quick cameo from me saying hi if you enjoyed this video please hit that subscribe button it would mean so much to me thank you for all your support and watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye